What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing okay. Got you a review here today. It's the Monster DNA reissue or repaint. Um, this is a little bit older model, so um, it's kind of harder to find some of the you know information on this bat. But I'll give you what I got. Uh, this is the M1 composite technology with the uh, with the FIB also technology flutter floating inner barrel. Um, it's a two-piece bat, and it's what they say is a mid-load swing weight. And this has the 3900 flex handle, and this bat, particular bat is a 26.5 ounce, and we scaled this in at 25.4 ounces. The end load came in at 19 even, and the handle was 8.8 .8 ounces. Um, I got this from Mike, Michael, um, or I'm sorry, Mike Karnakia from New York. Um, Mike sent this out to me. I believe this, he said this was going to be one of his team bats, and this is for the team uh, out of New York called the Mike and Worth Peppercorn Turtleheads, I believe. But um, man, got up. I was excited about getting the swing of monster bat, and I am right now currently playing some ASA league ball. So I was like, yeah, come on, this is this cool because I did not know a whole lot about monster bats. So and I've been asking around. I've hit Carl up. I've hit Ryan Dacko up. I've hit reps up. Man, I've been asking everybody. Um, so we took it out of the field, pulled the wrapper off, went to work, and the first thing I noticed was saying, hey, you got to put some swings on this thing. Cause this is not going to be hot out of a wrapper type bat. So went to work, went to work. And um, every once in a while, man, you'd hear a clack and you hear the clack and you, you start hearing the clack more often. And you would do like 10 swings and it would just like nothing blew you away. But every once in a while, about, you know, you get that one swing and you're like, Oh, okay. Something special here. Um, so kept going, kept going and just put more swings on put took maybe like five days of swinging this bat probably well over 300 swings on it um just kept going man and it just it didn't blow me away but like every once in a while you get that one swing and you're like oh my god i want that swing every time and i just thought it was something with me more me because um i got a terrible swing and uh so dude i went I went out there and hit on the net and was like, something's wrong with my swing, man. So I just start working on some, you know, just working on some mechanics and stuff. And um, went back on the field and it was driving me crazy. I mean, it was absolutely driving me crazy that I couldn't hit this bat the way I wanted to. And I just felt like it was maybe the weighting of the bat. So kept on, kept on. And um, finally, I ran up to the truck and grabbed my, while we were taking BP and ran and got my other bat that I use in, my, in, the, um, in the league, my gamer. And um, it's the weight. I mean, that's all it was. I mean, it wasn't a technology. It was just the waiting. And I got my gamer out and took some swings. And I was like, okay, that's it. It wasn't me. And I'm not crazy. And uh, ready to quit softball because I can't hit. But um, I was just like, man, it was driving me insane. I know you're going to have to put some more swings on this. You're going to put a lot more swings on this, actually. But um, you could see this is going to be a special bat once you put enough sp swings on it. But... It just, I could not get used to the waiting. Um, hope I don't piss all you guys off, you big monster fans, man, because it has not deterred me because I bought a, I got a cyborg on the way and I've got some more reviews coming on monster bats. So stay with me, guys. Don't hate me because I, I didn't, you know, get blown away by this. But I guess that's it. Um, until next time, guys, keep hitting it. We'll talk to you later.